Congratulations on purchasing a new Lynx Cam. In this video, we will walk through the steps to get your new dash camera installed. Before getting started, unpack your Lynx Cam box to make sure you have all the required installation parts. If a part is missing, please contact us via the information included in your Lynx Cam box. To install your new Lynx Cam, you'll need the following tools. Please note that if you're installing a hardwired Lynx Cam, you'll need a multimeter with test leads. Use a small level to mark a line about 6 inches long where the top of the mounting bracket will be located. The mounting bracket must be level for proper operation. Ensure that the mounting bracket is level relevant to the truck. If one side of the mount is higher or lower than the other side, you may experience inaccurate AI alerts. Remove the backing from the adhesive pad on the bracket and align the top edge of the bracket to the reference line. Note that the rough or tooth side of the bracket must face the driver and the smooth side must face the passenger. Press the bracket firmly against the window, making sure not to rotate the bracket. Next, secure the camera to the bracket using the supplied Phillips head screw. Make sure that the interior and exterior camera lenses are facing the correct direction. Connect and run the power cable from the camera to the location of the vehicle where the camera power will connect to the vehicle. The cable is routed up towards the roof of the vehicle, along the top of the windshield, and down the A-pillar to where the vehicle connection point is. Use the supplied tuck stick to help secure the cabling behind any trim panels. If you're using the OBD or JBUS port of the vehicle, this will be on the driver's side below the dash. If you're using the hardwired connector, you will need to determine the best location for connection to the correct vehicle wires for constant power, switch power, and ground. This may be on the passenger side of the vehicle in some medium and heavy duty trucks. Attach the shock box that came with the camera to the vehicle as shown. A zip tie may be required in addition to the adhesive backing. There is an adhesive pad on the box, but it may be necessary to wrap a zip tie around the box to ensure no movement. The shock box should be close enough to the vehicle connection point to allow for connection without any tension on the cable. If you're installing an OBD or JBUS connection, we will cover those installation instructions now. If you're installing the hardwired connection, those instructions start at minute 6 in this video. For OBD or JBUS cameras, attach the OBD power connector to the power cable as shown. Take care not to damage any of the pins inside the barrel connector. Securely attach the OBD end of the connector to either the vehicle diagnostic port or the splitter if used. Yeah. 
Make sure the footwell is clear of any obstructions. All cabling should be secured to allow proper vehicle operations. To install the hardwired connection, locate the connection points for constant and switch power, along with a suitable location for the ground wire. You may need to use a multimeter to properly identify constant and switch power. Connect the hardwire power connector to the power cable, taking care not to damage any of the pins inside the barrel connector. Locate the red power black ground and orange ACC wires. The red wire is connected to a constant power source. The orange wire is connected to a switched or accessory power source. The black wire is connected to a suitable ground contact point such as an unpainted bracket. Secure the remaining unused wires out of the way using the electrical tape. Connect the wires on the hard wire power connector to the vehicle in accordance with the established automotive wiring practices. For hardwired links cams, it is essential to correctly identify a switched or accessory power source at the vehicle. This is a power source that only has power when the vehicle key is in the on position and does not have power when the key is in the off position. Failure to properly connect to a switch power source will result in excessive power consumption from the camera and may result in a fully discharged vehicle battery. When your new camera is connected, secure all loose cabling so that proper operation of the vehicle is not impeded in any way. Now that your new Lynx cam is installed, follow the activation instructions to start using your new Lynx cam. Once again, congratulations, we're happy to have you as a customer.